In this video, I'll be showing you how to auto farm combat XP in Roblox Islands, so make sure to subscribe with the notifications on and like the video. But you can get 144,720 XP per hour by doing this. The first thing you'll need is a cactus spike, and to get it, well, don't try to farm it yourself unless if you already have cacti, because you have to unlock the desert island to get cactus seeds. So it's just way easier to buy one, but you can find them in shops for around 20 or 25,000 coins. And just buy one if you don't have that many coins, then farm your crops for a bit until you're able to afford one. You're going to need to get your light melee to level 10 though, so that you do 10 extra damage. Because the cactus spike only does 40 damage by itself. And if it does 50 damage, then you can do this auto farm. You'll also need to be combat level 25 or higher to unlock the wizard island. You can probably fight slimes with this, but they give barely any XP, so don't fight them. Just like farm slimes, then farm buffle core, and then go over to the wizard island if you haven't unlocked it yet. This doesn't work on buffle core because they have too much health. You could use other weapons for this, but the cactus spike is just way better and way more efficient. Because if you tried using the Gilded Steel Hammer, your heavy melee would need to be level 25. And to use bows, you'd have to craft a lot of arrows. You could try using spell books if you wanted to, but they're just so insanely laggy. Like, I can't even get them to shoot or do damage to anything by myself. Because that's how laggy they are. But if you have a very small island and you're by yourself, it might not really be that laggy and you could possibly use them. Just don't use spellbooks, they're so laggy, unless if they like don't lag for you at all, then don't use them because you need to be alive to do this auto farm. But you're also going to need an auto clicker, because a while ago one of the devs said that auto clickers and macros were allowed. So just take out your cactus spike. If you don't have an auto clicker, a pretty popular one is called OP Auto Clicker that you can find just by looking it up on Google. And if you're on mobile, you can find auto clickers on the App Store or Play Store. But you want to go over to the Wizard Lizard, and if it's lagging a lot, then that's actually a good thing because that means you're not going to get hit at all. But whenever you're setting this up, you want to go right over to where the Lizard Wizard spawns, and then... I don't know why he's T-posing, but just start auto-clicking. And if you get hit while you're doing this, then stand back a little bit more. Right now they're lagging so much that they're not hitting me at all. And also, uh, like, they're not even shooting their thing. Like, sometimes it will shoot it, but it will only go barely a little far away. So if you're standing too close, you might get hit. But this is just like the perfect area to stand. And sometimes they're not that laggy for me. They're supposed to spawn every 5 seconds though. And sometimes lag can make that take longer. But you can literally just do this for like the entire day and get so much XP. The 144,720 XP per hour is only if you have the 4 times daily bonus active. Which once you level up a bit, it's going to increase by a lot. When you're at combat level 1, you only have like 500 daily bonus XP. And I have 23,117 right now. And if you get a pretty high level, that is going to go up even more. And you're going to be able to basically just have 4 times XP the entire day. And it's going to be like a huge bonus, not just a daily bonus. But with economy, you can see at level 61, I have 292,000. And then at farming, I have 798,000. This is the only way, or at least one of the only ways, to get a high level for combat and all of the weapons. If you max out or get to whatever level you want to for light melee, or you want to increase your other levels, again, like I said earlier, the hammer you're going to need to get heavy melee to level 25 before you can auto farm. With bows, you have two options. So the first option is using a macro. This is better for if your archery level is low and if you don't have a good bow. And you just get a macro, a popular one is Tiny Task. Then you hold a click on the macro, you release it, and then if that didn't work, then just adjust your aim on the wizard lizard so you hit them every time. And they actually won't hit you because they're pretty far away. So you can just do that with the macro, and this works every time you're far enough away that they won't even hit you. But then with an auto clicker, this is better if your archery level is high, or if they're just insanely laggy where they can't even hit you. 
So you just go up to them, and then you have the auto clicker, and you just spam click them. So they stopped being laggy, and that is not really an efficient way, so the best way is the macro. But with bows, you're going to need a lot of arrows, so just craft as many as you can. I'd recommend getting, like, maybe 5,000 if you want to AFK farm or auto farm with them. But to get wood, since you need wood and stone, the best way is just by placing a whole bunch of trees together and chopping them down and then the next one will grow almost immediately. But for stone, I have an auto farm that gives hundreds of thousands per day, and if I added more levels, it could give millions per day. But I'm just showing how to make bows efficiently. So build something like this instead, because that's a bit complicated to build and takes a long time. So just put stone totems, conveyors, then an input-output chest. If you don't have an input-output chest, then just use an industrial chest. Then if you want to use spell books, then just hope for the best because either they're going to be super laggy, or the wizard lizards are going to be less laggy and hit you, or nothing's going to happen at all because both the wizard lizards and you are so laggy that you're not able to use them. Like, look, I just tried to use the spell book, and it's going to be stuck there for like the entire rest of the time I'm in this server. It's so broken and so laggy. And if you're in a public server, then other people might try to steal your kills. So I guess your best bet is being in a public server, and then just trying to auto-click there. But then it might not work that well, because they're still super laggy in public servers. So if your island is small, then you might be able to do this, but it still might be too laggy. So getting uh, magic levels is basically almost impossible right now. Or at least it's pretty hard to do. I'm really hoping they fix the lag with spellbooks, but if they do, then this auto farm might not really work, because it kind of relies on the lag, since if there is no lag, then they're just gonna be able to hit you. But the spellbooks are laggy, and they're also laggy. Like, watch this, I'm standing on the wizard lizard. He can't even do anything. He's a noob, and he's not even attacking me. Uh-oh, he attacked me. That's not good. Oh, oh, it let me... Let me do the thing! Oh wow, it worked one time! That is very epic. But, uh, that is the first time in this entire update spellbooks have worked in the VIP servers. But you might want to level up, or wait, no. You don't have to level up because spellbooks do, uh, no damage. Still no damage. <laughs> 63 damage. Okay, spellbooks do enough damage, but I think that if you stood far back, then, like, your hits might not be able to counter the wizard lizard's hits, and it's just way harder to farm them with spellbooks than it is with anything else. I tested basically everything with this, and it does work if you have to hit them three times, so you can do between 34 and 49 damage and it will work, but if they stop lagging, then it won't work anymore. So maybe if you have to hit them three times, you can get a good 30 minutes of auto farming, maybe even an hour, but the best way is if you hit them two times, because like right when you hit them the second time, the shooting a fire thing stops like a little bit away from them. So if you're standing a little bit far back, then you won't get hit at all, and even if they're not lagging, then you won't get hit. So that's like perfect. The last thing I want to mention about this auto farm is you should go to a VIP server and not a public server. Because in public servers, someone could go over to the wizard lizard, go around it, and it follows them, then behind you, and the wizard lizard can attack you, and you're just clicking ahead of yourself, so you won't be able to attack the wizard lizard while it's attacking you. Then the auto farm won't work. VIP servers are free, you can just go over to servers and then create a VIP server if you haven't done that yet. And you can control whoever joins, and if someone tries to make the wizard lizard go behind and attack you, you can just uninvite them. So you can basically farm completely in peace in a VIP server. But that's gonna be it for this video, so make sure to subscribe with the notifications on for more islands videos, like the video, join the Discord server linked in the description, follow my Twitter at Telanthric, use star code Telanthric to support my channel, and linked in the description is a guide called Roblox Islands Guide that has all my helpful videos on it. So if you need help with anything, then check that out because it's probably there, but I'll see you all in the next video.